So today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. Really excited for this video because it is sponsored by Sephora. I'm using mainly the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, but I'm also using on my eyes the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. So beautiful. And my mascara is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm going to show you how to achieve this rebel eyes trend. It's a fun glittery look for summer. Pops of glitter in the inner corners as well. I just love the warm tones in this look. I will have information all about the rebel eyes trend in the description box below. But without further ado, if you want to see how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids with this Urban Decay Enigma Primer Potion and then I'm going to go in with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. I'm taking that first shade and I'm just using this to set that primer down. And then I'm going to take the shade Golden Ochre and I'm using this on a fluffy crease brush and just buffing this into my crease. Then I'm going into Raw Sienna and pretty much doing the exact same thing. I'm just trying to build on the browns in my crease. For more warmth, I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange and I'm using a smaller crease brush and I am just applying this into my crease the same way I used with the other shades, just going back and forth and adding more warmth. And then I just use the shade Tempura to highlight underneath my brow bone. I took the shade Realgar and I applied this to my entire lid. I wanted a very orangey, pinkish eye. So I just put that on my entire lid. Then I took that same shade with a smaller crease brush and I just blended out the edges of the eyeshadow. I wanted something a little bit more pink so with that same brush I just took Venetian Red and I packed it right on top of Realgar. Then I went back in with the orange and did the exact same thing. Then I took a big fluffy blending brush with no additional eyeshadow and just blended out those edges. I went into the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I took this pinky orange shade called Element and I just packed this on with my finger. I like how these eyeshadows apply more with your finger since they are very glittery. And this is just going to give you a hint of sparkle since it has the same tone as the eyeshadows. Then I took a crease brush and just blended out the glitters away in my crease. I'm going to quickly move on to my face makeup. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer to prime my face. And then for foundation, I'm using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation. I'm in the shade Dusk. This is a light coverage, but it gives you an overall glow. So I'm just buffing that in with a foundation brush. And now moving on to the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm using the shade Fair. And I'm just applying this where I always do underneath my eyes to conceal and then on the rest of my face to highlight as well and then I'm just buffing that in to set my under eye concealer I'm using the NARS translucent crystal powder and I'm applying this powder on all the points of my face where I applied concealer first Moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange on a pencil brush and I am just buffing this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Realgar and do the exact same thing but on a more precise pencil brush. And then I'm going to go into Venetian Red and do the exact same thing. I just want the lower lash line to match what we've got going on the top. Then I took the Urban Decay Waterline Eye Pencil in the shade Rail and I used this on my tight line and on my waterline as well. And then for mascara, I am taking the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, doing a few coats on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes as well. You can apply winged eyeliner and falsies if you would like, but I actually prefer how it looks without them. To add some bling to my inner corners, I'm taking the shade Vermeer on a pencil brush and just applying this right in the inner corners and then I'm taking the Moon Dust Palette with the shade Spectre and I'm applying that right on top of Vermeer and it gives a beautiful pinky glittery glow. And then to finish up the rest of my face makeup, I'm going to contour using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Contour slash bronze up the skin. I went in with a Neutrally Blush. This is a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Sensual and I applied this to my cheeks. And then to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and my nose, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Champagne Pop. 
To finish off the look, I'm taking a lip liner. This is from Makeup Forever. It's in the shade 1C. And I'm applying this to my entire lips. I'm lining them and then I'm filling them in as well. And then I'm taking the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Noble right on top. It's a really pretty pale peachy nude color. Okay guys, so that completes this video. Don't forget to try this trend at home and hashtag trending at Sephora and rebel eyes. So you can share your own looks and your own favorite products with those hashtags. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.